The Chief Medical Officer uh, only recently highlighted the high mortality from ovarian cancer. One of the problems with this disease is that it has really quite a vague set of symptoms. They can be quite non-specific. But some of the key ones are that you have persistent bloating in your abdomen and pelvis, you have persistent pain, or sometimes you can find it difficult to swallow and eat your food or sometimes feel full really quite quickly. But if people have those symptoms, the key investigation is a transvaginal ultrasound scan. And the point of that is to find a cyst if one is present and then determine whether it could be cancer or if it could be a benign cyst because the management for those two entities are entirely different. The key thing with ovarian cancer is if you have that disease, you are operated on and have surgery carried out by a subspecialist gynecological cancer surgeon. So what we've done with this study uh, is look at over 5,000 ovarian cysts and we have previously come up with a set of rules based on features which we can see on scan in ovarian cysts to differentiate between these benign and malignant cysts. Now our previous uh, papers on this have used these rules but found we could only apply them to 80% of masses because it relies on a system where you have benign rules or malignant rules. And if you have a just benign rules, then it's a benign cyst. Just malignant rules, it's a malignant cyst. But where you have both benign and malignant, or where no rules apply, we can't use that system. In this new paper, we've re-examined our data on over 5,000 masses and come up with a new system where we can look at the presence or absence of these rules and how they relate to each other and come up with a risk of malignancy as a percentage for all ovarian masses. So we can now apply these to all cysts that we encounter. It does this with a very high level of test performance. It detects over 98% uh, of cancers, which is excellent, and the percentage risks that we give people calibrate very well with the real risk when we look at the data. So what we have here is a system that if we apply it to all women who present with an ovarian cyst, is something that can differentiate between cancers and the benign masses. If we identify a cancer, we'd then be in a position to send them to a subspecialist gynecological cancer surgeon where we know the outcome for these people would be much better. Conversely, with the benign cysts, they can go to a general gynecologist and perhaps have keyhole surgery, which hopefully may preserve their fertility, or perhaps have no surgery at all. So our aim at the end of the day is that all women with such cysts go to the right surgeon for the right operation, and we think this new system will help do that.